What's up, Dynamites? It's Kiwi from Dynamite Reactions, and we are here for Oshi No Co. Now, I've heard a lot of things about this anime and how good it is, but do I know anything? The only thing that I know is that there's K pop or J pop idols involved, that there's reincarnation, and that it's somehow. It's really dark and shocking, but that's all that I know. I'm really excited to get into this anime. Hopefully the copyright gods have smiled down upon us and they have if you're watching this right now. But um, yeah, I'm really excited. So without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Not this story is a work of fiction right off the bat. <laughs> oh, this boy knows everything. Her name is I. Okay. Wow, such a fanboy. Man. He's right, she is cute. Oh, that's very sweet of him to say. Not marry me. Mm. Not him saying that. I don't know if I agree with that. Oh my god, wait. Wait. He was joking, right? <gasps> Oh, she died! Oh, boy. It is her. Oh, my God. He's losing it. Sir! Your head! I think that's the concussion from you slamming your head into the floor. Oh, that's the... That's the person of her, that's the head of her agency. Okay. Wait, I've seen pictures of the babies. They're blonde. I don't want to go there, but I will hold. Lies of the most exquisite love. Oh my God. Wait. Oh my god. This is This is so interesting. So interesting. Oh my god. Okay, we're at the delivery date. Aya? Sir, if you weren't ready for the smoke, you shouldn't have rolled up. Sir, you shouldn't be chasing after him, though. Oh no! Oh no! This is not the 
turn that I was expecting. Oh no. Oh, oh my God. No, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. What? I, <laughs> no, he didn't get reborn. He did. Shut up. Shut up. I'm like so shook right now. I'm, I don't know what to say right now. Oh, that's his wife. She don't look very happy. Ma'am, are you okay? Clearly not. The animation is sick. Not grateful to the guy who murdered. It will probably was some stalkerish dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Not her defending her mom on the internet like this. Oh. Oh. So he's an incel. Okay. Okay. I think I'm beginning to understand. I feel like I have so much to say already, but I don't want to pause. Yeah, I know she feels some type of way. Yeah. Oh, God. Girl, don't do it. <laughs> do we kill her? I'm screaming. <laughs> Nothing. Not them making up a whole situation. Not the ban punishment. I'm screaming, not this. Oh my God. Not them holding a second marriage over her head. It's her? It's her? That's kind of sweet. Oh my God, wait. It is her. Oh my God. 
Bit. I'm so dead. Put on for your babies, mama. Oh my god, sir, please. <laughs> Not on YouTube. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I'm going to pause. This show is so good at like showing the differences between the particular sectors of the entertainment industry like right now. Okay. As I was saying, <laughs> this show is so good at like showing what the idol industry might really be like. I don't know much about the K-pop or the J-pop industry, but I hear like sprinklings of what idols go through and the abuses that they endure. It's so good at illustrating that and the inner workings of someone who might be working in it. Um, also, just showing the difference between entertainment industries as well, like the difference in what a director for a TV show or a movie looks at versus what she is giving them versus her like, oh, I just need to look cute instead of doing the basic actor thing, which is to convey like real emotion that's on the scripts. It's very interesting to me. This show is so interesting in that way. Um, even from the beginning, just talking about like the expectations, even from a Western standpoint of fans when it comes to the people that they admire and things like that and how some people take that to a completely different standard of like murdering people or stalking people or anything like that and like really just putting it on the screen and like showcasing it and being like hey this actually happens like this is an anime but it's showing some very realistic portrayal and I kind of I love it I love it this is this is what the idol by Sam Levinson tried to do and failed that's the vibes that I'm getting right now Okay, kiddo, shut up. <laughs> Girl, you can't always get what you want, child. I know the pressure on child star just a lot, but like, girl. Girl, you gotta have some standing yourself. You did what you were supposed to do, baby. He's right. He's right though. <laughs> mm. 
Not her lying like this. You can do it. Ouch. Oops. Oh, honey. That was so sweet. So talented. As a disabled person, trauma from medical incidents is such a real thing. And learned behaviors that are built in as survival instincts are such a real thing. And some of them are good. Some of them aren't really serving. And, you know, to have a place where you can have adaptive dancing or sports or whatever it may be is a good way to get over those fears and regain, like, some of that independence, some of that freedom back to it. So, I... I'm not going to say that I like how they addressed it because the storyline of, oh, disabled person gets magically cured of their disability happens like five million times over. And I feel like with a little bit of extra thinking there, we could have done this storyline with her as a disabled person. I get that's not the point of reincarnation, but I do celebrate the idea that we can move past our medical traumas and do things that we used to find fun and safe in new ways. I do appreciate that. And it was really cute how they illustrated that in particular. Oh God. But she is going to meet up with her dad. Oh, no. うちの事務所の中学生モデルたちで何と組もうとしてるところかな。君なら<笑> She said that with a smile on her face. Wow, she hasn't told her children that she loves them. Wow.
So does she even know what her true feelings are? I have so many questions. Girl, are you okay or are you dying? Wow, she did get it right. Wow. 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 He did all that based off a of wrong assumption. Oh, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I will cry. No! I cannot! Wait! Oh my god. It's taking too long for people to get here. <laughs> oh my god, stop. Stop. I'm so mad. I'm so peeved. No. No. Oh my God. What the heck, man? All the childhood trauma. Oh my God. Idol group, Ikoch, Aisan ga sasu. Oh, oh. 
We're not crying on camera. We're not crying on camera, but they preach in. They're preaching. The pair's social relationships are so real, dog. Oh. oh my goodness Someone was feeding him information. Oh no! Oh! The drama thickens! I'm not ready for this! That's true! That's true! Because they were supposed to meet! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. The animation, the story unfolding. Jeez. My God, yo, okay. First of all, song fire. Second of all, what the heck, you what a twist! What a this whole entire time, I was thinking, okay, walk with me here, walk with me here walk with me here and also does past me have some sort of future state because uh i did mention murders earlier in my little uh, diagnostic dissecting monologue and the fact that it happened Shut okay um walk with me here for a second because I, I might have put it in the edit, I might not have, but towards the beginning, I was like, the twins, they have, you know, blonde hair. I was like, so, uh, did her president, like, get in a relationship with her, an inappropriate relationship with her? I wasn't sure. Did they have like inappropriate relations? And now he's back on the table for me. I know it might not make sense to some, but he's back on the table for me. Um, I don't even really know who else it could be, but I'm here for the I'm here for the ride. This anime took such 
an unexpected and amazing turn. Like, her death? What a dark way for someone in an anime to die. I've seen many anime deaths in my life, so that was both heartbreaking and terrifying. Just the drawing, the art of it, and also just heartbreaking because that's so real, right? Again, I bring up like Christina Grimmy, Selena. Like there have been so many cases of this where the parasocial relationship between fan and celebrity person just gets taken way too far. That's why it's important to have boundaries that are set. Like I've seen a lot of people recently uh, dogging on Doja Cat because she, a fan asked, do you love us? And she was like, I don't know y'all, which is for real an honest response, right? She can feel that way. She, she doesn't know them. That's the truth of the, the situation. Yet, for that truth, people were attacking her. Like, some people just don't have that bandwidth to say, you know, I'm grateful to you and mean I love you in the same sentence. Like, I is such an interesting character. I would love to dig more into her trauma, if that makes sense. Like, cause she clearly like wanted to experience love for what it was and got to experience that through her children. But she just was so insecure about how she really felt because she spent so much time just telling people for the sake of hoping that she would one day, you know, feel something that she's never experienced before and she finally got to do that with her kids just not in the way that she deserved to do it with her children oh uh, oh my god this anime this anime is so good um jeez I can't wait to see the other episodes. I can't wait to unpack them with y'all. Leave me your thoughts down below, but no spoilers, please. I am so ready for this. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess I will see you guys on the next one. Don't forget you're important. And I love you. I mean that completely <laughs> as friends, okay, with no expectations attached. I feel like I have to say that now that I've seen this. I'm human, you're human. Things happen. All right. I love y'all. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.